Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're on the Simple Abundance Path together this year, following along in Sarah Bond Bronick's book, Simple Abundance. And we're exploring her principles this year, which are joy, harmony, gratitude, order, simplicity, and beauty. And on this channel, I'm sharing with you various things that I have gotten out of the book and then sometimes little offshoot ideas that have come from getting in touch with my authentic self and just wanting to have a more exciting, fun, enriched life. So today I wanted to share with you a fun little activity that I've done with some girlfriends. And you can see right here, what is this? This is a time capsule. I thought it was the perfect time to share this at the beginning of January because you might consider doing it this week. You could also wait until the end of the year and do it for next year, but I wanted to let you know what we do. So I get together with some friends and we pre prepare something ahead of time in an envelope that we're basically storing away for the year. It could be, remember I was talking in my journaling video about setting an intention for the year? You could put your intention in that envelope. You could draw a picture, you could make a vision board, you could do a couple words like, hey, you got this girl, or something like that. It's totally personal, nobody ever sees it, and you can even decorate the envelope, whatever you want to do. But it's stored away in a little box or something. You could even put it in a metal coffee can or something and dig it into the ground and dig it up next year or at the end of this year. But it's just meant to be another way to set an intention for the year and to set, prepave, if you will, uh, some things for yourself, like that only you are gonna know are in there and then what happens when you open it at the end of the year is you revisit it. So in every case when we've done this, and this is an example actually, you can see that the flower is dried and that's because this is our 2019 capsule which we still need to get together and open um, hopefully this week or so. And I've always forgotten what I put in there. <laughs> so it's not like Oh, well, you could do it a couple of ways. You could put it in here and then just know all year and be thinking, yes, I put my letter about what my new job was going to be or something in there. And you could be thinking about it and yes, and just kind of giving it up to the powers that be. Or you could be like me where you write it and then you've totally forgotten what you wrote. And then when you revisit it again at the end of the year, it's like a coming back together and... and and kind of going like, hmm, how did the year actually go? And this is what I thought it was going to be ahead of time. And this is how it really turned out. Maybe you won't even want to read it. You could do what we did one year. We got together and there was a fireplace at my friend's house. And we just burned our letters. We never even opened them. But it was just a fun little way to... A fun little like connecting with yourself activity and setting up the year for fun. When I was in high school, I remember my 11th grade teacher had us write a letter to our future selves. I think it was about like a five year span. So we would be out of college and out into our adult life. And then she mailed them to us. So we got them right around that time. And that was really interesting, especially because you can imagine like in that time span and when you're a teenager and you envision what your life is gonna be like, a lot of times it turns out differently, right? So uh, this is only a year long little capsule. And like I said, you could have one person hold on to it or you could even do it yourself, store it away in, in a drawer or something in your house, but just make sure you put a reminder on your phone or in your planner to take a look at it at the end of the year and, and be grateful for the end of the year and and all that you made made it through. and and hopefully the year turned out even better than you set for that intention or whatever you wrote to yourself. Like I said, it could be a quote or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. So what do you think of this idea? Have you ever done anything like this? And are you thinking maybe you might try it for 2020 with yourself or get some friends together? And I hope that it sets your year off on a fun little 
new way and new little activity to bring something interesting into your life and give you that moment to pause and and write something to yourself okay hope you liked it and i will see you next time on the next video thanks for being here